All right. Uh, I need you guys to be quiet. I'm about to film my 14th vlog. So, how many weeks has it been exactly since you filmed your last vlog? I don't know. Maybe like two weeks or something. Busy with school and all that. Uh, where did I put my headphones? So, where the heck did you find this thing? Yeah, I found that thing in the park. Don't know what it is, but I'll think I'll look into it later. It's quite a beauty, but um, I don't think it's worth much. Alright, I think I can memorize the rest of this episode, so... Alright, let's get filming this son of a bitch. Oh, what the heck just happened? Son of a Well, I guess since this is fitting, I might as well get another vlog out of the way. This is Sonic Boom Vlogs, episode 14, The Meteor. So the episode starts off where we have Sonic and his friends roasting marshmallows on the open fire by a beach as suddenly... That one's flying beautifully toward us. Frenzy! This could be a major find. We need to approach it cautiously and with great care. So that... Race ya. Oh, that's definitely Sonic in a nutshell. So once Sonic arrives, suddenly Eggman also arrives with Orbot. Oh wait, hold on, no, Cubot is also with him as well. And of course they call dibs on the meteor, and then once they both touch it, suddenly the next morning, Dr. Eggman is a Sonic, and Sonic is Dr. Eggman. And they do the Freaky Friday route where they actually have the voice actors voice in the opposite characters, and for the most part, I will get to how the voice acting is once I actually talk about the episode. So you have Dr. Eggman, or I'm sorry, Sonic, who is trying to convince Orbot and Cubot that he is actually Sonic, but of course they're not convinced. Then you have Dr. Eggman in Sonic's body, who of course is, well, doing a very bad job at keeping his cover, and there's only one moment where we have Amy, who is, well, suspicious. We have Tails, who is trying to investigate the meteor. These numbers are off the chart. Fortunately, I have a bigger chart. And so when Dr. Eggman actually goes to tell his friends that he is actually Sonic in Dr. Eggman's body, Dr. Eggman in Sonic's body, of course, you know, tries to make them believe that, hey, there's... God, I really hate this voice that you have, man. But of course, when that fails, Dr. Eggman, or sorry, Sonic, jeez, I'm getting very confused here, Sonic goes back to Dr. Eggman's lair and uses Dr. Eggman's robots to fight against Sonic's friends just to prove that he is Sonic. But of course, he has to fire warning shots rather than actually shooting shots at his friends. Well, what are you waiting for? We're programmed only to obey orders after being threatened. All right, then. Nobody gets hurt or somebody's gonna get hurt! Yes, yes sir. sir! Oh, that makes total sense. And yeah, the episode is pretty much as over the top as you would imagine. I mean, there's a lot of really hilarious scenes between Orbot and Cubot not being convinced that Dr. Eggman is Sonic. Uh, hang on, did you switch brains or did you switch bodies? Both! Well then, nothing's changed. Listen, Gear Brain. Definitely Eggman. And for the fact that Dr. Eggman in Sonic's own body is, of course, being over the top, suspicious, and while... Of course, the friends are stupid enough to not believe Dr. Eggman, or I'm sorry, Sonic and Dr. Eggman's body, that that's actually Dr. Eggman and Sonic's body. And of course, when the Allies don't believe either of them, it only takes Tails to actually say, When Eggman and Sonic touched this meteor, they switched brains! <gasps> How come nobody told me? Uh, cartoon logic at its finest. So yeah, as a whole, this episode is... Honestly, a really damn good episode in my opinion. And there's definitely three main reasons why I really love this episode above most of the episodes that I've reviewed before, but I'll definitely say that this does not top Dude Where's My Eggman from episode 10, which I gave a 9 out of 10. Number one will have to be the little touches, like how Dr. Eggman threatens his robots to attack, the video game that Sonic and Knuckles are playing, which at first sounds like a Pac-Man game. 
And of course, the second thing is the humor. The humor is all over the place. I mean, the, this concept sounds kind of like a stupid idea, but almost like Freaky Friday, they seem to take the advantage of whose body's in who. So since Dr. Eggman is in Sonic, you have Dr. Eggman, who of course is complaining about, you know, how expensive it is to build his robots. Aw, oh, come on. Do you have any idea how much those cost? I mean, between the parts and labor, yeah. Ah, jeez. And then, of course, you have Sonic, who is trying to run as Dr. Eggman, and, of course, get in that pain in his lungs. Oh, boy. I can't breathe. What is this awful feeling in my lungs? Good show, sir. Real impressive stuff, boss. But, of course, the biggest thing in this episode is for the fact that Mike Pollock has to play Sonic in Dr. Eggman's body, and Roger Craig Smith has to play Dr. Eggman in Sonic's body. Now, as we all know, Mike Pollock as Dr. Eggman is over the top, and Roger Craig Smith, for the most part, is simple, but also adventurous when he is Sonic. So when you have Mike Pollock voicing Dr. Eggman as Sonic, he does such a great job representing that, yeah, there is Sonic in there, and that he is not Dr. Eggman, and he doesn't represent Dr. Eggman, so he's not over the top. Whereas Roger Craig Smith as Dr. Eggman, on the other hand, oh god, he is over the top, and I mean really over the top. Now you think this would actually work against the episode, but in all honesty, for one, it's a kid's show, so it's going to be over the top, so that way it can let the kids know that, yes, that is Dr. Eggman and Sonic's body, so I kind of get that. But it's much more justified from an adult's point of view, mostly because it's actually really hilarious. And I really love seeing Roger Craig Smith and Mike Pollock's um, interaction and all that, and how they portray Sonic and Dr. Eggman in a different way. And it's actually really damn enjoyable to watch. Even though, yeah, Roger Craig Smith has to go over the top, but it's over the top in the right way, since Dr. Eggman himself, voiced by Mike Pollock, is over the top. So yeah, as a whole, I think I'm going to give this episode a 9 out of 10. Yep, a 9 out of 10. The same rating that I gave, dude, where's my Eggman? And I think a lot of it has to do with the fact that for A, the performances between Roger Craig Smith and Mike Pollock is so goddamn good. And the second thing is that the plot itself and all the jokes is actually really damn funny. And, of course, the subtle touches here and there, and that was something that I really did like about uh, Dude, Where's My Eggman, as well as Eggheads. But, of course, while Eggheads is actually a 7 out of 10, it was mostly because the humor wasn't really that as much, or it didn't really have that much of a big plot in comparison to Dude, Where's My Eggman. But this plot seems to be pretty straightforward, and it was a really great idea, and I'm really glad that this actually paid off, because this could easily have failed. But, in the end, it's actually a pretty damn good episode, and I can definitely say this is my second favorite episode, so this officially tops Translate This. So Translate This is number three, The Meteor is number two, and Dude Where's My Eggman is number one. Oh, hold, hold, hold on. Yes! I found it! I found it! I found it! Ha, 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 ah. Yeah, that's right. Okay, come on. You can do it. Just touch me with the emerald and you'll be... God damn it. This is going to be such a long-ass day.